In this video tutorial, I want to show you how to customize pages within your premium press theme. So let's get started. To begin with, log into the admin area of your WordPress website. On the left hand side, you'll see a number of options. We're going to be using pages within premium press and then the pages within WordPress. So let's start with the word, the premium press pages. So we click on premium press, we click on design and you'll see this option here called edit design. So we click on edit pages and here we can see all of the default pages within the premium press theme. So for example, the home page, the about us page, membership pages, FAQ and privacy pages, etc. This is where you edit the default pages within the premium press theme. So to edit any of these pages, there are two options. So let's just start with the about us page. So you can see we have a view and edit. So obviously if I view the page, it's going to open it in a new window and it's going to show me what the current page looks like. So this is what the page looks like. If I click on edit, I have options to go ahead and customize it. Now with edit, I have, because I haven't installed any page builder like Elementor, etc., I'm using the default built-in theme options to edit the page. If you're new to WordPress or you like to customize things using a page editor, we recommend you install Elementor. So you'll see this option here, install Elementor. Just go ahead and install Elementor. Click on install now and Elementor will be installed onto your website. Now I've already got Elementor installed, so I'm just gonna go ahead and activate it. Okay, so I've activated Elementor. I'm just gonna go ahead and edit my pages. You'll notice now that when it comes to editing pages, there's an Elementor icon next to the edit option. And this means that I can now edit this page using Elementor. So again, I can view the page or I'm gonna edit the page. Now if I click on Elementor edit page, it's gonna load my About Us page in, into Elementor. Now this is easier for most people because it allows you to visually see what you're editing. So as you can see now we have text, images, etc. So I can go ahead and change the text. So I can click on the text here and then change it. Just in one, two, three. Or if some of the elements are not editable directly, you use the left hand side panel. As you can see on the left hand side here, I have a panel. I've got title and text and I can see the options here. So you can see the subtitle, which is what I'm editing here, is testing one, two, three. With Elementor, editing options is very easy. You can see on the right hand side, this window is where I'm literally editing the options. And on the left hand side, this panel is my settings. So for example, this image here, I have image one. So I would change my image here. Text on the right again is title and description. And I have options here to change the styling, the positioning, etc., etc. I can change the colors, so the main fonts. I can change the color options. I can make it a primary color. So you can see the text has changed. So basically, I would use the options on the left to change what's visible on the right. If I didn't want the block, I would use the um, cross option to delete the section. Or if I wanted to add a new block, I can search for premium press, just type in premium press. You can see the premium press icon is here. I drag it over. I drop it in and then I can select from all the categories that I have. Now with the about us page, we use a lot of text blocks. So I click text and now I can see a visual image of all my text blocks. I will then just simply click on the one I want. It's going to load it in for me. It's going to set up all of the defaults. And once that's completed, I can then go ahead and start changing it. So again, I can just change the um, title. I can change the button text. And once I've finished making my changes, I click on update. So you scroll to the bottom and you click on update. Now, before I do anything else, I'm gonna go back to the admin area of my website. Again, I'm gonna start with the overview of dashboard so it's easy to navigate. I'm gonna click on premium press. I'm gonna click again on design. And I'm gonna click on edit pages. Now, one thing you'll notice when you edit a page in, pre, um, in the Premium Press file Elementor, it's gonna save the page um, to the About Us page here. So you can see now, rather than it saying default design, it says About Us 0802, which is the dates I've edited this page. So now if I view this page, click on View, I scroll all the way down, you can see this is the page that I've now edited using Elementor. So this is now the live page on my website. And because I've edited this page in the Elementor, all of the pages are also stored in the Elementor 
um, templates option. So if I click on templates within Elementor. So this section here is very useful for keeping backups because obviously all the pages you create in Elementor will be saved under the Elementor saved templates. Now again, if you want to edit the page you've just created, I recommend you stick with the premium press options. So again, premium press, design, edit pages. Now, as you can see, obviously we have the about us page set. If I click on edit, now it's going to edit the page that I've currently got set. So it won't create a new one for you. It won't create lots and lots of new ones. It will help you just by editing the current one you've got set. So if I click on edit page, as you can see, it's going to load again, the one we've currently got. I can make some changes Four, five, six, seven. Again, I can update the page and close the window if I want. Give the page, uh, the admin a refresh. Click edit page and if I again view the page, you can see now all my changes have gone live right away. So again, all of the pages you, you create using Elementor will be displayed in the drop down options here. So if at any point you want to go back to the default page, again, just set the default option, click save changes. And if you view the page, it's going to show you the default one that's provided with the theme. So this is the theme options. And again, if you created a page in Elementor and you want to use that page instead, select it from the drop down list, save the changes. And now when I go ahead and view the page, it's going to go to the one we've just edited. So that's how you edit any of the existing pages within the Premier Press team. Now it's worth noting that only the pages visible here are editable. There are some pages, such as the, so the checkout on the cart pages, etc., that have so much custom coding used for um, tax options and shipping options that they're not currently editable. So only the pages that are listed here are currently editable within the Premium Press team. Now again, we have a desktop view and a mobile view, which means you can create two different pages to be displayed based on the user's um, device. So if you create an about us page for the desktop and you create an about us page for the mobile, then obviously the mobile view will only be displayed when the user is viewing from a mobile device. Now, if you don't set any option for the mobile view, it'll just default to the desktop view. So that's how you edit pages in Premium Press. Now, if we go back to the desktop in WordPress, this is the desktop of WordPress. We have pages again within the WordPress theme. So we click on pages and this is the pages view for WordPress. So this is a standard uh, display for your WordPress pages. Now, again, at the top, we have edit premium press pages and this is a page link. So it'll just take you straight back to the options you've just seen. So you can see it's going to load straight back to this page. So it's a quick reference button. So let's just go back. So these are all of the pages. Now the way WordPress works is that you create a page in WordPress and then you obviously you add content to that page. So as you can see, we have some default pages already created by the theme. So the balance page, ad page, advertising, etc. Now these are what we call linked pages. So for example, if I edit this page, if you view on the right hand side on the page attributes, you can see this page is now linked to a template page. So you can see a page about us. So that's why this page is displaying the about us page built into the theme. If I create a new page in WordPress and do not set a template, it's going to display the default page I have within my WordPress theme. So let me give you an example. Let's go back to the dashboard. Let's create a new page. Let's give it a title testing one, two, three. If I add some random content, and we just save the page. It's going to create a blank page and take the header and footer for our website. So as you can see with the header, the footer, and it's going to display all of the content within the center of the page, which is good and it's bad because obviously this is great if I have custom options and coding that I want to display, but it doesn't give me much design options. Now, if I want to create a new page and display it using Elementor options, I can do the same thing. Now, obviously, because I have um, Elementor installed, I can just click on edit with Elementor. It's going to load this page into Elementor. And it's going to allow me to do more design options. Again, I can just search for the premium press blocks. I can drag the options in. And then I can obviously then use any of the blocks that are built into the premium press theme to customize my page. If I preview the page. You can see this is what it looks like. So obviously you would spend some time and completely customize the page, but that's how you create a blank page using the premium press um, options 
within WordPress. So this is a new page, a blank page, but I can customize it completely using the built-in options within WordPress. Now we have a lot of customers that are unsure how to add newly created pages to the menu. So let me just quickly show you how that works. Again, go back to the admin area. All of the WordPress menu options are stored on the left-hand side under appearance menus. Now we have a dedicated video on how to set this up, so I won't go into much detail, but basically your new page will be visible on the left-hand side. We would click it, we click to add to menu, and then it will now be visible on the menu. So we can then drag it around, move it to where we want it to be displayed. Click save, save the menu. Make sure you've selected where you want this menu to be displayed. So if we go under main navigation, and then it will now be visible on my website. So if I go to my website, we can now see on the main navigation at the top, we have this new page. And this is the newly created page we just added to WordPress. So again, we have the about us page, which is the default page I just showed you a moment ago. This is the about us page um, we created using the built-in premium press options. And this testing one, two, three is a page that we created using the WordPress and the Elementor options. So that's how to create two different kinds of pages within your premium press theme. Thanks for watching.